At 7.33, the milk arrived. However, the paper did not arrive. That is so typical, Rhubarb grizzled. They insist on me paying for my newspapers on the nail. But oh no, not a peep out of them when my paper doesn't turn up. Not a peep! Oh well, thought Rhubarb, and turned on his wireless. And so, as no newspapers have been printed today, we haven't a clue what's what. So there is no news. Anyway, stay tuned for some lovely music. Crackle the news hound. Typical, muttered Rhubarb and went off down to his shed. As soon as Rhubarb stepped into the garden, he noticed the paper oik sitting on a log, sobbing his eyes out, his empty paper bag lying at his feet. Never mind, kid, it affects us all not having a newspaper, Rhubarb was explaining, when the garden gate bell rang. Yes, inquired Rhubarb of the dapper rogue. Oh, Jeremy Barker, journalist, news hound, have you seen my young... Oh, thank goodness, there you are, the hack went on. I suppose you're going to tell me that you're his paparazzi, Rhubarb quipped. Ah, <laughs> very good, <laughs> paparazzi. <laughs> yes, the mischief scribbler tittered, and Rhubarb asked what all the fuss was about. Haven't you heard the news? There is no news. I don't have a newspaper to write for, and he doesn't have any to deliver. It's a disaster, barked the hat. Well, there's a start, suggested Rhubarb, and the ink slinger shrugged. There is no news. The lack of gossip has the making of a disaster. I know. We could make our own news. You could write it. I could publish it. I can see it now. Rhubarb, media baron. Rhubarb chortled at the idea and called for his troops. Mouse, rodent scholar, editor. Poodle princess, theatre and film. Moggy Malone, music. Postdog, horror stories. Moog, underground reporter. Jeremy Barker, news hound, Rhubarb announced, and everyone cheered at the idea of writing stories about nothing. Editor's meeting, Rhubarb's shed. Now, squeaked Mouse. Oh. Dynamic group scrambled into the shed, which was to become HQ for Rhubarb's new newspaper, The Daily Tale. Ah, oh, there you are, Mouse. You made it, Rhubarb began. Now, my new friend and journalist, Jeremy Barker, has cleverly pointed out that no news is good news. So my plan is to print stories about nothing. I have a story about my play, said Poodle Princess. And I want to write about me new song said Moggy Malone. Sorry, you can't write about plays and songs, Rhubarb explained, only to be told that neither the play nor the song was finished. Oh, well, in that case, there's nothing to write about, said Rhubarb. When the shed door burst open, a rookie fell in all feathers and flustered. Well, there's, a, there's a monster crocodile in the pond, he spluttered. Change of plan, shouted Rhubarb. Jeremy Barker, pad and pencil. Moggy Malone, Poodle Princess, camera and lights. Mouse, hold the front page. The rest of you, follow me. <laughs> Rhubarb prattled and stumbled over ideas for a monster headline. And that is how the first edition of the Daily Tale blundered its way to the newsstands. At the pond, Rhubarb's Daily Tale team set to work. There was a crocodile in the water, and it was, as Rookie had said, a monster. Now this was proper news. News with teeth. As soon as Poodle Princess turned on the spotlight, the creature's beady eyes glared from the duckweed and the crew took a combined step back. Perhaps you should interview it, Rhubarb nudged, and Jeremy Barker dug his heels into the lawn. No, no, the closest we'll ever get is with a zoom lens, whispered Moggy Malone. And as she took the picture, she let out the tiniest of squeals when she realized that watching from amongst the bubbles, the beast was staring her right in the eye. And then, it licked its lips. Oh, it's moving, she yelled. The creature is on the move. And as the colossal brute rose out of the water, the brave Daily Tail team fed minute by minute details to Rhubarb who bone foamed into Mouse, who splashed the gory facts across the front page. 
Okay, we're out of here, barked Rhubarb, and the news team scattered. Morning, Custard, said Mo. Funny hat, if you don't mind me seeing. Yeah, it's the nicest in float hats. Comes in three styles. Hippopotamus, floating log, a crocodile. <laughs> Compartments for sandwiches, drinks, etc. Digital camera eyeballs, propeller for non-effort manoeuvrability, satellite navigation, and it doubles as a bike helmet. <laughs> well, nice talking, Mole. I must catch up with the others. Bye, said Custard. The beast is coming after us, squeaked Rhubarb. Run for your lives! <laughs> Read all about it. Plastic Hat Attacks News Team. Read all about it. Duffed, if you ask me. Whiz, the home of ABCs, 1s, 3s, and all your favourite kids' TV characters. Now let's find kids' TV. Or I can press this microphone. Whiz, that's how easy it is. <laughs>